telling you a radical, so it's a historic day. So more of Kevin Blanche's work is being verified every day. So you know we're on 4,758 days since I don't think people realize the magnitude of this event. The full blown out meltdowns of Fukushima, Japan. So let's talk a little bit about the liars who told you that China syndrome was impossible. The nuclear meltdowns was impossible. Remember, that's all they told us for decades and years. And you, oh, nuclear meltdown can't happen. Full blown out meltdown. Oh, they fucking happened the first time in history they happened. And so let's talk about this. So, you know, the term China syndrome, of course, was made. Very, 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 very popular by the movie. Now, let's remember the timing of the movie. The timing of the movie and Three Mile Island. I mean, you cannot make it up. Man imitating art, art imitating man. Now, the term China syndrome had been hypothesized long before that movie. What it hypothesized and what it meant, it was more of metaphorical than actually physical science. It was that these cores are going to melt down. And they're going to keep melting down. They won't stop. They'll go through anything. You know, and then, of course, all the way through the... Now, of course, we know that that's not going to happen, or do we? So, I named it Delmar Syndrome when Fukushima happened. Now, what it... This is verified that the meltdown syndrome, the Blanche meltdown syndrome is right now. What I said, these are full core meltdowns. It's going to melt down. It's going to get into the mantle. And then it's going to spread... The mantles are rivers, underground river, including the Japanese trench that's right there. And now this proves my, more of my work being proven right. And I love it how all these nuclear biologists, these scientists, all these bootlickers that go along. What, what, you know, I'm a marine biologist. All the marine biologists were around the world. What are you, I mean, what is the nuclear industry? Your God? Do you get down every morning and pray or every night before you go to bed? Do you pray to the, your nuclear God, your nuclear energy God? Your Do you have a nuclear energy golden calf you worship god forbid you stand up to them god forbid you say the f word fukushima god you bid you even freak go there i mean what's the matter with you worshiping risk ring kissing boot lickers you can't even freaking huh, just the greatest event in human history fukushima so they get the robots they've been trying the robots for four i mean we're talking 13 years these robots can't get near finally they this is the first photos they have below so these cores sit on giant concrete pedestals, all of them, all these cores on all these reactors. So as you know, they've got photos of the concrete pedestals. They're gone. These cores have melted completely through multi, multi feet of concrete, rebar, everything. They're gone way right through that. They cut through that like a, you know, hot knife through butter. And so they finally got some little robots down in this is the first photos they've got and you can see the photos aren't the core what the photos show the photos show that these cores have melted down through the concrete down 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 and what we're seeing is the old apparatus from the framework of the core you know the apparatus that holds the core together you're seeing some of that apparatus melted and gooey but the actual physical core no sign of it because it's melded deeper and deeper and deeper. Now, that was always the hypothesis by lots of nuclear physicists, by the way. You know, it got named China Syndrome before the movie. That's how the movie got named. It's, you know, I call it Blanche Syndrome, Trench Syndrome. You know, I named it Delmar Syndrome. You know, on the same mantra as China Syndrome. I called it Delmar Syndrome right off the get. These are full-blown. So my work's being verified more and more and more. Just like, I see, oh my God, you can't make this up. The same day that two gray whales wash up dead, Noah declares the unusual mortality event on the gray is over. When you look at their date, how fucked up is their date? They're showing their date to start in 2018. When we counted in what was that? 2016, 17. How many did we count dead? And when it flies right in the face of the other... 75 biologists who said the humpback starvation event started in 2012. And then Noah said, Noah is pitiful. I'll tell you how pitiful Noah is. P Noah is pitiful. While I'm walking out doing all the work on the coast, I run into Noah constantly. You know, I run into the operation as I'm walking on the coast when they're picking up all the debris at 4 o'clock in the morning. They had a huge operation. They kept hush hush. I'm out there. I'm sleeping in a sleep bag. I'm talking to him. I'm visiting Noah to my face. Well, what are the radiation levels? What are the readings? Not our job. 
What do you mean not your job? What's the name of you? What does NOAA stand for? Kids, can you tell me what NOAA is? So you're telling me it has nothing to do with the ocean? <laughs> Up is down. So this is how pitiful NOAA is. NOAA come out yesterday. As you know, Tim Martin and I are the only two that have actually showed you footage of them shooting sea lions. So Kevin Finnegan was right there at Florence yesterday on the cliffs. His mom came to visit, got soaked. But uh, out there tide pooling's hard work. He called me and he says, I says, he shot a video of the elephant seals, or excuse me, of the sea lions right there in Florence. And he says, I says, what a beautiful video. And uh, at the same time he's shooting that, I don't think he knew, Noah came out yesterday and says that we're going to start shooting all those sea lions. And it, we're going to try to relocate them to the zoos. Now, you know, Tim Martin and I called all the zoos. They don't want them. So they said, we're going to euthanize them. How do they euthanize them? They shoot them. And so, as you know, because they're eating the salmon. What? what? They eat up What? They've only been eating Chinook salmon for many millions of years. It's part of the ecology. But that's the problem because we got to have for the, the salmon for the fish. <laughs> when we know full well the salmon are dying at sea. It's unarguable. It's just like the Klamath tear out the dams and the Jedi Smith are right next to each other. The direct hit from Fukushima, which is the trench. You got the Japanese, throw your rubber ducky in at Fukushima, Japan. It will be a gold bitch within six days. Just like the overpass you drive on landed there. It will be in Southern California on day 10. You know, so the direct hit right there. Speak of the devil, that's him call him back that's tim martin so he's probably calling he probably saw this on the sea lions so noah the psychotic freaks they are so i fought him and i fought him. you can't be doing this you can't shoot him it's against the law they're protected so they went to congress the last act of the psychotic teabaggers passed in 2018 before they left was to legally shoot and kill sea lions for eating salmon so here you are in oregon i'm walking up the coast of oregon and I mean, the major effort in 2013 and 14 when all the sea lions and seals were starving to death. You know, this incredible, again, started in 2011, 2012. So they rehab them. There's all kinds of re rehab foundations that rehab seals and sea lions in California. They try, they release them. They swim up like they have for millions and millions of years to the mouth of the Columbia Rivers and feed on Chinook salmon when Chinook salmon are coming home. So you rehab in California, Oregon shoots and kills him. Noah. Now here's Noah telling you all oh, the acute. Well, no, not even acute. They use the unusual. I mean, oh my God. It's kind of like setting a nuclear disaster scale from one to seven. Now who does that? Malice, unusual, mystified, baffled, stumped, curious, alarmed. Don't say the F word. So Noah, every marine biologist, I, I'm a marine biologist at Weber State University, at Kyle Berkeley, at Oregon State, University of Oregon, at Stanford, at San Diego State, at UCLA, you know, all over the country. I'm a science professor. I guess every night they go before they go to bed, they pray to their nuclear energy god. They're, I imagine they are handed a nuclear energy golden calf that they set next to their bed. You know, I'm sure they wear it around their neck and pray to God forbid they worship the nuclear energy because they won't. I mean. They own them, lock, stock, and barrel. I've never seen such a bunch of derelict bootlickers who will not freaking go after the obvious. Full, blown out court. Never happened in the history of, I cannot overstate this. Never happened in the history of mankind. So they're legally shooting sea lions. So Noah came out yesterday and says, we're going to start killing them all. I'll post the links. What are they supposed to do? <laughs> they eat Chinook salmon. So the Jedi Smith and the Klamath, they're next to each other. As Kevin Latch said, they... You know, and my whole hypothesis is a full blown up melt that's going to push it in the Pacific Ocean, it's going to break the chain, it's going to cause a heat bubble over the Western United States, it's going to cause the fucking fires. I named the heat bubble. I named this whole event. I named all this, you know, and now all my work being verified and verified and verified. I named it Delmar Argentina syndrome and like day six of the end. I'm like, it's going to melt, it's going to get into the mantle. These cores are going to get deeper and deeper, and these meltdowns are just going to grow. They don't go away. They get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. This meltdown goes on for hundreds of... Now, where is the cores? Where is the cores? Where are the cores? Oh, they roll out every Easter Bunny Santa Claus. Oh, oh, by the way, I hope you shorted New Scale yesterday. Son of Cassandra has done it again yesterday. When I made that video and posted that video, the stock was at $10.14. You heard me right. 
it's a six foot. I mean, it's down almost 40% today. Huh. I says, buy all the puts you can get. Son of Cassandra does it again. Huh. Don't listen to Kevin Blanche, whatever you do. So they're killing the sea lions for eating salmon. Now, I said this steelhead salmon will start to uh, collapse on cue immediately because they go to sea one to two years, which they did radically. I says, you will not see a collapse in the Chinook salmon until 2016. So they go to sea for five years on average. Record returns every cent to the point where Army Corps Engineers was doing these big, I mean, so you, you don't have to, I mean, you can argue with me all you want. It don't matter anymore now that we have all the data. We have 13 years of data. So these photos are confirming again, Kevin Blanche. Uh, I mean, for years, people wrote all kinds of papers. I used to argue with people right here. That's impossible. Core meltdowns are impossible. Full core meltdowns don't melt down like that. You know, trying to say, <laughs> well, granted, I'll give you that. They probably don't melt all the way to the core of the earth and then out through the other side, but they might. <laughs> but we sure know they continue to melt down and melt down and melt down. And we know when you get deeper into the earth that you get into the mantle. Okay. And we know the mantles are rivers. You know, the Japanese trench is right there. Remember what happened on that peninsula right there in Russia on the peninsula, which was right next to it? Remember when everything washed up dead and the servers say they could taste radiation feel burning in their eyes? Remember that? And the first videos you come out, you didn't need to speak Russian. You could hear them. Fukushima. Everything washed up dead. Everything. And then the Minister of Environment came all the way from Moscow and he, he you know, he started to cry. And then he says, it's obvious somebody's coming here and cleaned this up. This is the power of the Nuclear Energy Crime Syndicate, and these marine biologists worship them. So that's their answer. You think how insane this country is. Their answer to the first time in human history. And they're gonna say, it's Orwell. They're still going to tell you. My grandson was born 13 years ago right now, who grew up with me, Kevin Blanche in his science class in seventh grade, said the teacher told him that they were learning about nuclear meltdowns and told him that Chernobyl was the greatest. He stood up and raised his hand and says, no, 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 my grandpa's Kevin Blanche. I grew up with this. I was born right there in that month. No, he says, three full meltdowns at Fukushima, Japan, is three is greater than one. And she argued with him. And I says, I says, you go back to school and you tell her to come talk to me. She knows who I am. You says, my grandpa is Kevin Blanche. And he told me to tell you that three is more than one. This is not an Orwell school. And she's, well, whatever. And, and, and. I got them all convinced. <laughs> How is that even possible? One by Jetstream, two by cable TV. So this is major, major news. And by the way, I hope you short of news still yesterday. Like I said, anybody that's buying that stock, you know, I called it the nuclear pump and dump. That people are unconscious about their health, the ecology, the they don't give a shit. They see some place they can make a buck. They're gonna, they don't care. You know these funny fairy tale. And so, the fact that they're going to shoot sea lions and kill sea lions for eating salmon. That I mean, it's theater of the insane. Well, it's theater of the ignorance. That's what I'm gonna call this. So, the course, it took me a year and a half to convince anybody who was one. And I stood right here. Just remember, 10, 12, 10, 13, 14 years from now, they're going to tell you. Just remember, Saddam Hussein has weapons of mass destruction. No, he didn't. Pat Tillman fought off 9 million al-Qaeda in the... No, he didn't. His old man shot. George Bush won freaking Florida in 20... No, he didn't. You know, just remember thereof, you're going to look back. Just remember, they're telling you this is nothing but a hydrogen blast. And they roll out Gundershield. They roll out Caldecott. They go out Busby. Japanese are tidy people. They cleaned it up. It's just a hydrogen blast. The Pacific Ocean is a big place. They rolled out these Easter Bunny Santa Claus. Ho, 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 ho. Fairy tale, freaking. Kevin Blanch told you. These are full, blown out core fucking meltdowns. It's going to genocide the Pacific Ocean. It's going to cause a heat dome over the western United States. This is going to be so hot. It's going to get into the mantle. It's going to push into the Pacific Ocean. And it's going to, these storms are going to rise up. And it's going to cause a heat dome over the western United States. It's going to get into the trees. It's going to get into the trees. And it's going to get into the needles. That's. That's how our evergreen stays green. They get radiation from the sun. Well, what's coming off the sun? Bring you star power to Earth, Livermore, California. They know that's their logo. You don't think anything new can happen? How about Californium? How about Tennesseeum? How about Livermoreium? What, what, what? They're new. Fuctoniums, I named this. Energy is going to get in the trees. It's going to kill all the trees. We're going to get what I call Fuctonium fires, Fuctonium fires. We had the greatest fire heat dome freaking event in, ever in the history of Earth. 
all predicted by Kevin. It's going to cause simultaneous fires. And when everybody are, oh, it's homeless people all get together. It's a arsonist group. They get together. And that's been all ruled out and debunked. You watch these documentaries. These guys are saying never. I've been you know, fire marshal 40, 50, 60 years. Never seen anything like it. Simultaneous fires exploding all over. The, where the atmosphere is actually catching on fire. The trees are just exploding. Because it's new. Which I named food. Never happened before. And so all these fucking idiots that told us all the old core melt. Okay. Hey, China syndrome's impossible. Oh, <laughs> because you're worshiping your nuclear energy god? What did he get throw you a little bit of money? What do you do? Get out on your hands and knees every night, you marine biologist. I'm a scientist at Weber State University. I teach freaking biology at Weber State University at Cal Berkeley, at Caltech, at freaking San Diego State. I think, what do you do every night? Get on your hands and knees and worship your nuclear energy god? and pray to your freaking golden nuclear energy golden cat please so they're the untouchables oh fuck i mean it's pitiful it's fucking pitiful the greatest phd opportunity in human history and i'm the only one that took it. so my work's being verified every day now that they know that the pacific ocean right there heated up for the most radical decade in history document it's well documented now 1.25 degrees hotter never happened in the history when did it happen start 2011 the humpback well, the study, 75 biologists have agreed on it. 30% of all 1,000, 1,000, 7,000 humpbacks. When did that starvation start? 2012. And they're trying to tell you that the mortality event on the grays didn't start till 2018. That's bullshit. I was down there and these grays were all washing up dead. And they're declaring it. Oh, okay. But who, who told you to say that? Ken Buesler? <laughs> He's recently come out and said when they got over there on the KLK study, look up, I'll pull up at this KLK study. He's saying when we got over there that the radionuclides off this meltdown were in the harbor at Fukushima Channel were millions of times the background. Millions. He never said that before. But he says it got better. Okay, it got better. Okay, show me where it got better. <laughs> the salmon numbers continue to get worse and worse and worse in an acute fashion. So we have the, we call that outlier science, right? So all the bullshit, it's Kevin Lynch was right. All my work is being freaking, and their answer is go kill some sea lions. Okay. Psychos. Theater of the insane. Theater of the ignorant. <laughs> go worship your nuclear energy god. Not me. So, all my work's verified. The heat dome. I'm the guy that named it. The great western North America heat dome, heat bubble. I declared that it had moved two years ago. Did it happen? Yeah, in an acute fashion. In science, we don't do mystified battle. We get to work. The real scientist, Kevin Blanche. What am I going to do? Stay with my golden handcuffs? Stay here at fucking Weber State where I was a scholar before I did all this fucking work? I was the number one school business in the fucking country being prepped to take that program over. Yeah, the Wattis. Oh, COG. Yep, you got it. Now you get it. How do you go from the number one school business in the country via the testing scores in the fucking country to last? Under investigated by the FBI. You get rid of Kevin Blanche. Fucking blackball me. <laughs> what are you going to do? Go to fucking Harvard, copy and paste. Ooh, look, I wrote a New York Times bestseller. I'm Professor Dan Mikey. Look at me. Oh, fuck. Come on. They got it fucking all captured. You just get on your knees and you worship your golden freaking calf, nuclear energy freaking god. What do you do? Pray to it every night? Is that the rule to be a marine biologist at academia university? I went to the number one school in the country, finance and biology. I taught here. I graduated here. I went here for years. I was mattered by the best biologists and the best fucking finance professors and economists in fucking American history here. Well, they're all gone. The black ball me? <laughs> you have to be transparent. You have to put your work out in raw fucking footage in raw form, which I did. It has to be Freudian. It has to be freaking just out there. No panty painting, which I did. You have to defend your work. I mean, these guys gone after me like fucking wolves for what? Telling the truth? Who knew that telling the truth would become such a revolutionary act? Who knew that being a true scientist and doing a true PhD would be a radical revolutionary act? Kevin Blanche. <laughs> Go kill some fucking sea lions, you psychos. Fucking, you can't fucking look in the mirror. Nuke energy, uh, there, so there's no byproduct from that. First time in human history that it's ever happened. That's the most insane fucking, well, that's a mental illness. It's theater of the ignorant. At the Golden Hack, go ahead, y'all. Here's the deal. I used to have some nuclear energy roof for you, and I, I was, did this all this work while in critical condition. 
with AML leukemia, given no chance. I want just the fact that I go into the bone marrow transplant on 11, 11, 11. Just the fact that they hired teams of trolls. There were dozens of YouTube sites and dozens of Facebook pages with my name out to 100%. And we know it was the nuclear industry, the NEI, the DOE, who went after me. The same people that drafted my father, the drafted me, put him in the Nevada test site and nuked him to death. That's, those are felonies in all 50 states. Felonies. They went after me with, I mean, and I shot videos with my chest split them, with my central line hanging out there, and they slanted, they call me every name in the fucking book. Went after me viciously. Fucking. They kettled my, I mean, you used to Google all this subject matter, and you'd get 19 to 20 on the sidebar on YouTube, Kevin Blanche. In 2018, that's when, in early 2018, the cured net neutrality, and they started to kettle me and go after me. Viciously. You can't even have a conversation where the Demi came from. Because they worship their freaking nuclear energy god. <laughs> to think that there's no byproduct from three full Carmelas and eight spent fuel pools, the biggest load probably on the face of it, including mox fuel, blown to fucking shit. I did the due diligence here at Weber State University on those fucking nuclear reactors. I knew for a fact that there's no nuclear energy reactor on the face of the planet that can handle an eight on the Richter scale. When I saw this was a nine, by the way, who sets a freaking... Earthquake scale at seven. That's the Japanese scale. United States runs Japan. It's a 51st day class Lake Barrett on 60 minutes. It took Lake Barrett 3,800. Well, I know Lake Barrett. This is like going to the moon to fix this Leslie style of Lake Barrett on day 3,888. Way bigger than that. This has never happened before. Where are these cores? We don't know. Never happened like that. Well, there's the Pacific Ocean right there. I hypothesized that they were burrowed deeper and deeper and deeper. And, you know, do you remember at Chernobyl, they went in and did a mining operation. Now, I advocated for the egg in the early days. I've always advocated for that. And I thought the U.S. would do that. I really thought that they would go in. And there'd be a worldwide global effort to entomb this thing. Well, Obama just made him stand now. Well, Obama just didn't want to deal with it, just like he didn't Putin. He just handed it off. So here, Axelrod. Here, Rama Mount, which came out of the new currency. Here, John Holdren, you do it. Bye. I, I. He, he stood on the White House lawn yesterday, 13 years ago, Dan, and told you that he would keep you abreast. The nuclear plume is coming over us right now. Scientists tell us it's not radioactive. It's safe. No precautions need to be taken. When Cheryl Mills' emails were coming out the exact same day, saying the exact same opposite, saying that the plume is radioactive and not to go outside. And if you have to take a shower, to take some idea. And Obama knew that. He just turned and he, he says, I will keep the American public in the know what I know. He just turned, he went like this and ignored it. He goes on Jimmy Kimmel right before he left office and he says, you ever get a call at four o'clock in the middle? Like Hillary says, yeah, of course, I'm the president of the United States. Like, you got an example? Yeah, like when Fukushima happened. Jimmy Kimball, big I live in L.A. What's down you down? What's Fukushima? Well, look at that. Your dead tide pools at your feet, E.D. E. <laughs> What's Fukushima, Kimball says. Barack Obama, you know the typhoon. Nine foreign earthquake that rocked the, the fucking planet off its... Moved the planet, actually shifted it. <laughs> he calls it a fucking typhoon. And you want to keep Diablo Canyon. Just building nuclear reactors on the range. What, what, you think that there's no major monster nine-point earthquakes, eight-point, ten-point earthquakes that ever happened on the Ring of Fire? Really? And what about the one that happened, what, 62 in Alaska, and the tsunami killed people at Dana Point right there where Sinanopri's at? <laughs> you think there's no byproduct? Just the fact that you build nuclear reactors. You built 50 reactors on the island of Japan after fucking pop, 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 pop dropped. They never stopped. The United States took over fucking Japan. You forget Yalta by the sea. You forget the only true thing Obama said. These trees were signed long before I was born. The United States is running that dog. 50 nuclear energy reactors. You know, they're all offline. But nuclear renaissance, huh? Nuclear uranium renaissance. SMR new scale happiness. Ha <laughs> ha, fairy tale Easter bunny Santa Claus. It's a nuclear pump and dump. Don't you fucking get this? You've been had. The greatest lie in human history, Barack Obama, this is the, is coming our safe? No, that's the second biggest lie. What's the third biggest lie? Saddam Hussein has weapons, mass destruction, when he full well knew they didn't. 
What's the biggest lie in human history? Nuclear energy is clean, green, too cheap to meter. Even Louis Strauss, who he coined the term too cheap to meter. Do you know that? He was right about Oppenheimer, by the way. Louis Strauss, I look back on it, he was right. He said, don't do it. Don't drop them. Don't drop them. He was remorseful. And he said, I tried everything to prevent those bombs for a year, which he did. You know, I look in the movie, you know, all these people that stood up for Oppenheimer. And Louis Strauss was right. So was Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein's the first guy that talked about China syndrome. We didn't call it China syndrome. He talked about a core meltdown, and he says if it ever gets Gene gets out of the hat, it's going to affect every piece of biology on the face of the planet. And will it affect animals? Yeah, it will affect all the animals. It'll affect it. What about humans? Humans are animals. He said. <laughs> he called them not the two. He called, what did he call them? The dumbest ones. And uh, will they adapt? Yeah, in 50 generations. The cancer spike. The tide pools in acute fashion, those are outliers of science. My work's all verified. And you can read it for yourself. And their answer, let's go kill some sea lions. That's Noah. Noah. Noah is so derelict, it is unbelievable. So is the EPA. What about Gina McCarthy taking off freaking Radnet? The day that it happened. Now, what's what, what do you think? They just did that for fun? What's Radnet? The Radiation Detective Network you can go online and look at. The radiation hammered us. Ask Cheryl Mills. Ask Allison McFarland, ask Gregory Jackal, ask Mike Lee, ask freaking Mitt Romney, ask Donald Trump. Oh, one guy on earth did. I did, Kevin Lynch. I asked every one of those guys. Right to the face, and it's on YouTube. So their answer is a question on my YouTube site. <laughs> These videos should have millions and millions of views. The greatest scientist since Semmelweis. You don't even know about Semmelweis. Germ theory, what did they do to him? <laughs> Just to wash your hands, doctors in childbirth. Threw him in a rubber room, beating to death. The greatest PhD since Semmelweis, Kevin Lynch. The savior of mothers, they used to call him. I fight for her, the ecology, the mighty blue lady. This great, the great Pacific genocide, as I named him. Don't drop your dry casket, Daner. My work all being verified. Oh, here we go. Oh, wings. We were, there's where all your money's at. Meanwhile, back on the ranch. I have all this. We have the, all the years of the scientific data now. We can run a uh, regression. We know the greatest outlier in human history, at least since Krakatoa was formed, which was the year 416. I think it's bigger than that. We know the greatest outlier probably in history happened in 2011. Did a meteor hit Earth? Huh. Did a new Krakatoa happen? No. No. Oh, we had three full core meltdowns for the first time in human history. And you're telling me you know what comes off those. Well, you read what Tepco said today. They don't know. And they got cameras in there. No course. We can't find them. As I named Delmar Syndrome. I'll come up with another name. I'll keep it at Delmar Syndrome. Stan Tuned.